Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 22. So over the past couple of challenges, we've been discussing a DocuSign and ways to send documents into your room. And so I want to go back into our opportunity that we were using previously. And today I want to show you how you can actually save emails into your DocuSign room. We know oftentimes when we're working with a buyer and negotiating on behalf of that buyer with a listing agent or uh, talking to the buyer's uh, maybe loan officer or there's a variety of different reasons why we might want to actually save an email just for um, you know history's sake to make sure that we have documentation of any correspondence that we've had. So when we come into our opportunity I've clicked on documents and I'm going to click on go to transaction in order to get back into our DocuSign room and as a refresher, here's our DocuSign room number for this specific, specific transaction, excuse me. And then if we click on inbox, in case you forgot, this is where we can find our email. So this is our DocuSign inbox email. So in order to save an email as a PDF, here's just a test email that I created. So you can see this might contain negotiations, it might be discussions with your client, uh, maybe it's uh, discussions with the lender, Plenty of different reasons why I want to save an email as a PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and forward this email and I'm going to forward it to my DocuSign email address. So that was the marty.miller at mail.docusign.net and then I'm going to change the subject line by clicking on this little down arrow, click on edit subject and I want to take this out. First thing I want to do is put in the room number so that it drops in directly to that room number. And next thing I want to do is I want to use hashtag PDF. That's going to turn this email into an actual PDF inside the room. And then I can actually type out what I want the document called. So it might be um, repair negotiations discussion. Let's just call it that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on send. And then when I do that, right, it will start compressing this email, this test email into a PDF and then it should drop it into our room. So let's go back to our rooms tab. And then we're gonna find that room that we were working on. And here it is, our Lancaster buyer. And sometimes this process takes a little while as well to get it to drop in, but we're gonna click on documents to see if it's there yet. And let's do a quick refresh and see if it's shown up. Typically I see this take sometimes a minute or two, just like the ones from yesterday where we actually forwarded these emails into the room. Uh, this process can take a second or two to get it to show up. So plenty of uh, other opportunities, right? I was talking to some other agents about this and you know, anytime you're really having any sort of discussion um, that would impact the outcome of your actual transaction. So whether that's with your client, with the other agent, with the lender, maybe it's discussions with the title company, maybe it's discussions with, I don't know, your inspectors or your um, affiliates, anyone else that you're working with, could all be reasons why you just wanna save that. Some people will say, well, I have those emails in my inbox, I can access them later. Well, here's the reality, God forbid you never need these emails, but when you typically do, it could be several years after the fact. And it would be much easier to find them in your room than to scroll through, if you're like me, you get hundreds of emails a day, right? So um, definitely a little bit easier to save the email actually in the room, just so you have it sitting there. So here you can see, here's our email right here, repair negotiations discussion. If I click on it, you'll see here it brings up, there's the email, this email might contain, and you can see it's got a few weird characters, but in the end, uh, it has what we're looking for, which is the body of this email with the subject line. It says when it was sent, what time and date, what the subject was, to and from, and then the body of the actual email. So that's how you can send an email to your DocuSign room directly and save it as a PDF just for safekeeping in the future. So that's it for today's challenge. As always, it's great talking to you, and I will look forward to speaking with you again in the morning. Thanks so much, guys.